friends, welcome back to Sitza. In today's tutorial, I bring you a very amazing idea on how to paint your own custom denim jacket, like I painted here. So, let's start today's tutorial. So first of all, you will need a denim jacket, of course, I'm using this one. You can also use one which you don't wear much, you know. If you're a bit scared of spoiling it, cause we are gonna be working with acrylic paints and they can't be removed from the clothes. I had two so I'm taking this one and we are gonna make a design which goes with the color combinations that are used on its sleeves. So this is our canvas. We are going to paint on this rectangle as you can see. So first of all for my design I'm taking a scale and this white colored pencil which is I, I guess a glass pencil that was just lying in the corner of my room. I don't know how and where did it come from but whatever. So I'm taking this as I guess it will be visible. I hope you are seeing the triangle that I'm making. Now I'm going to draw a rose and which I think is not visible to you so let's switch to a gel pen. I guess this is much better. Uh, you know what's the matter that the color of the jacket is like faded dark blue so the white patches are on it which makes the visibility poor. So this is it. I'm drawing hope you can see these beautiful roses no doubt it is a bit difficult to draw on clothes so i would suggest that put something heavy on both the sides of the jacket now so that uh, it doesn't move so let me describe the drawing to you as i guess you must not be understanding what am i drawing so now i am drawing the second rose uh, so this is a drawing like a triangle is there and roses are coming inside the triangle and also outside so I will create a color scheme like black and white colors inside the triangle and a colorful painting outside the triangle okay so now that our sketching is done, I'm using a masking tape and I am outlining our triangle so that we can use paint to, you know, outline it and our lines will be neater if we do this. Now I'll be using Fabricryl acrylic paints cause acrylic paint will not be removed if we wash the cloth. Okay and I'm just gonna color it like this and now we will just peel the tape off and look how satisfying it looks like. I just love the peeling of tape you know it looks so satisfying to watch those clean edges come on. Okay, that's enough. Let's now <laughs> do this quickly and proceed on to our painting. Now I'm going to paint white in all the rose petals that are inside the triangle as I'm thinking of a black and white theme. And I'm really sorry for lighting. I don't know what happened to my camera. It just got so much brighter. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> And you know what, painting on denim, just seriously, it absorbs a lot of paint, like a lot. See how it's absorbing all the paint, huh? Just, just look at it. It's like... Just sucking up all my paint. <laughs> so, what did we learn, huh? Do keep bottles of paint with you if you're planning to make a big design. You might need to add a second coat, it all depends on the coverage of your white paint, so do as you like. So 
when we are done with the inner petals inside the triangle now i will also do a white base coat for the outer petals i mean i know that we are gonna paint them red but the color will only pop out if you add a white base coat so don't forget to add one and like this we are done so i'll take now red paint and just add life to our roses Now it's time for some green paint for the leaves. Now final and the most important part is detailing which will add life to our design. So like this I'm taking a zero number brush and outlining each and every petal of the rose. And please do the outlining very carefully and with full patience because once you make a mistake here, there's no way back. Trust me. So after outlining, we have to add some details as well to add a more realistic look, you know. So I'll just add some shadings like I am creating these lines. In the leaf and we will also add some shading in roses And yeah, I've painted my jeans as well and I've already uploaded the tutorial so you can just click on the info button and check that as well. design is complete so hope you all liked it it took me a lot of hours to paint this and do tell me if you try this as well and don't forget to like this video share it and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't do leave a comment down below if you love this tutorial i will read every comment and bye bye thanks for watching see you until my next video